Wow. How are you feeling? A little better. How did everything go? Rex? What? You look worse than I feel. What happened? Yo, who do I have to do to get a drink out of here? Oxy? What the hell are you doing here? Work here. Can I get you something? I would sooner drink out of a latrine. <laughs> Not your choice, I guess. Well, it can't be any worse than the morning I've already had. Did you, did you rat Gigi onto Rex? What? You told him you saw her leaving my place this morning, didn't you? I went to see Roxy. What did she tell you? Something I really didn't want to hear. Rex, I, I wanted to tell you myself, but you have to listen to me. It isn't what you think. Come on, what I told Rex. Hey, hey. Nothing happened. Okay, nothing happened. Gigi had too much to drink. I let her sleep it off in my room. That's it. I don't care. What? You're just gonna let Rex think that Gigi cheated on? I didn't tell him. Okay. You didn't. I got bigger things on my mind, and so does Rex. You think I would have told him that Gigi was leaving your apartment wearing yesterday's clothes? That would have been the last straw. I would never, ever tell that to Rex, especially after he just got home. Wait, what are you talking about? What do you mean? What do you think Roxy told me? Balsa, what happened? I... All those times I, 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 would, I would ask her, and she, and she would lie or, or clam up. I actually gave up thinking she'd, she'd ever tell me the truth. Wait, are you saying... I know who my father is. Who is he? A guy named Mitch Lawrence. Who's he? He's the scum of the earth. And I'm Mitch Lawrence's son. I see I have surprised you. Be, ladies. Aren't you gonna tell us more? About what? I don't know, like a, a list of drinks. Thought you were pregnant. She's kidding. We just wanted to hear what happened with Rex. When did you say he got home? That is so none of your beeswax. Um, well, he is the father of my child, so yeah, it kind of is my business. Honey, Rex ain't her father till the kid pops out, and then maybe, just maybe, we'll talk about it. Even if I have a picture? Yeah, that's right. Gigi better show him that sonogram because I think it'll make Rex really happy. I went on Shane's computer and searched Mitch Lawrence. Oh, my God. Pretty impressive, huh? Said he was some kind of preacher? He was a fake, twisted preacher. Who went after Vicky and her family. Vicky had D.I.D., Mitch was a psychopath. It was a perfect storm. He's your father. That's what Roxy said. Are you sure she's not just yanking your chain again? This time I have proof. My birth certificate. Oh, and a uh, little souvenir in case Shane wants something from his dear old granddad. If Roxy gave you these... She didn't. Then who? Hey, Corinne. You found out about all this when you were in Michigan. That's why she got me out there. She wasn't sick at all. At least he's dead, you know? It doesn't change who he was. My father. He's your biological father. That's it. You read about him, Gigi. Mitch, Mitch is a... He's a rapist, a murderer. The only good thing he put in this world was Jessica. Jessica? Yeah, he's her father too. You're kidding. Oh my God, so she's your sister. Jessica is Shane's aunt. That's the part that's not so bad. I always thought Clint was her father. Most people do. Jessica doesn't like to talk about her real dad, which I totally get. Well, so that's what you'll do. I wish. 
Why not? His blood is in me. It's in Shane. How am I supposed to deal with that? How am I supposed to make my peace with that? Awesome. I want you to listen to me very closely. Knowing who your father is doesn't change anything. It doesn't change who you are. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. You are still the man I fell in love with. You are still Shane's dad. And Mitch Lawrence's son. You are not your father. Between the time that I left you in Michigan and I saw you again in Texas, I had some pretty bad years. I never knew it was making me do the things that I did. Now, maybe I get it. Maybe I've been like him my entire life. I want to show you something. Stacy gave this to me to give to you. What is it? Your baby. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. This baby has Stacy Marasco for a mother and Mitch Lawrence for a grandfather. But it's still perfect. Children are not their parents. Okay? This is your future. Forget Mitch, forget the past. This is what matters. My sister spent the night with Sky. Who is the slut now? It's always the self-righteous ones. Oh my god, I can't wait. I'm gonna finish this double Rodie's burger, and I'm so telling Rex that his precious little Gigi's not so perfect after all. And then what? He throws his arms around you and promises to love you and the baby forever? Well, maybe not exactly like that. Do I have to do all the thinking for both of us? Ever hear of Kill the Messenger? What, like Rex is gonna blame me for telling him? Yeah, huh? Okay, well, how's he gonna find out? You have to be subtle. Subtle? Okay, what's subtle? Well, every situation is unique, but the same method works for all of them. Cogitation, meditation, planning. <laughs> Where did you get that? The Buchanan Enterprises website. Guess who wrote it? Clint Buchanan, the CEO. And husband to Nora Buchanan, D.A. Who's so wrapped up in her son and her ex right now that she has no time for the very rich, very lonely man she married.